it's the master of magnetism himself, Magneto. Today we'll be looking at Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wave 1, Magneto. So Magneto comes with only two accessories. Only, well, technically, oh man, I messed up the camera. Technically, two sets of hands, so four accessories? I don't know. But he comes with these, like, magnet tism hands and a pair of fists that's it now i would prefer if he came with like some power effects or like magnet and like magnetism magnetic force field effects or some effects like that but no that's all he comes with not a, not really a lot of accessories for magneto probably has the least amount of accessories out of his entire first wave but yeah and you're already starting to see my issue with him is he's not very good at standing mostly because of this cape oh no this is probably so far my, i think my least favorite figure from the first wave like i do like the fact that now i have a very classic looking magneto and i think that that is a good thing but i feel like he's kind of short which you'll see when i compare him to wolverine soon but now, there's things on here that I do like. He, there are some things where it's kind of meh. Like you can see right here, like the paint kind of smeared. The purple paint kind of leaked through to the red on that. The arms and legs are pinless, so that is a good thing. The head sculpt, I feel, is nice. I do like it. But I just feel, he feels so small. That's my biggest thing. He he feels tiny. There's some things on here that they probably skipped on some paint. You can see that the cape is just pegged in right there, and then it's, it's attached onto right there. So this comes off a lot. But you know he he feels small. But I mean, it is an okay figure. I am happy to have a classic Magneto, like I said. <clears throat> but it's just, just some minor gripes with it. But. Uh, yeah, but. I, I don't remember. Is, I believe this is supposed to be read in the show. I'm not quite sure. I have to look at pictures again. But. I would, an unmaxed head sculpt would have been nice, but I guess we're releasing another Magneto in his headmaster cost in his headmaster suit from the comics in the X Men ninety seven wave two, and that comes with two on two head sculpts, and he's not wearing his helmet, so I'll probably take this head sculpt off and probably put one of those on there. But let's take a look at the articulation, but. Bicep swivel, head can rotate all around, it can look up a little bit, it can look down a lot. Double jointed pinless elbows, if I get the other, one of my joints is a little stiff. And the cake came done. okay. But, ab crunch, I'm going to go up that much, all the way around if the cape's unpegged. Waist swivel, his hands can rotate. Oh, I just hit the camera. Let's plug that cape back in. Legs can go forward that much. They can all go back that far because the pet cape. Double jointed pinless knees. Feet can move a little bit. It's a little stiff on mine, but they can move. Um, yeah, it's just a very simple figure. <coughs> nothing too extra it's nothing too like it's a it's an okay figure there were some things that probably could have done better oh he also has a thigh swivel no calf swivel though so that's yeah but i feel like he's just he's kind of small and he can't stand like i can't get him to stand see no he just won't stand and i hit the camera well here in the size comparison Here he is the Wolverine. 
And he's not much taller than Wolverine, which is kind of meh. And again, he won't stand. And then, you know, there's uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man. And Spider-Man is almost as tall as him. And then hit forget for uh, kicks and giggles. Bring in a big old Mr. Sinister. Who is just significantly bigger than him. But he also can't fit in frame. But yeah. That, that's about it. That's my biggest complaint with him. Is that he can't stand on the thing. It's because the cape and his feet are so... His feet look small to me. Like, they just look so small. Like, when I do the female figures, you'll see, like, the size. Like, he feels small. That's not good. Because Magneto wasn't short. But... I mean, I do like the the purple. I like the purple. I like the red they use. I like how it looks like they had a like, little smoky effect that are here. Because if you remember in the show, it was, it was darkened around the eyes. I like the helmet. You can kind of see the face sculpt. I mean, it, it looks like him. But, yeah. Let's see if I can get him to stand. Oh, there. Now he wants to stand. I'm just standing kind of awkwardly, but. <clears throat> yeah. But. Oh, and he. Nope, he doesn't want to stand. But yeah, let me, let me, let me get this guy to stand. Alright, I got him to stand. So yeah. So today we had a look at Marvel Legends X Men 97 Wave 1 Magneto. <clears throat> He's probably my least favorite out of the wave. But, I mean, it's still good to have a classic Magneto. You always need a classic Magneto in your collection. So, yeah. And I expect the other videos. And then you'll see the Wave 2. But until then, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. And uh, my Cash App is down below in the description. If you want to help out with the channel so that way I can review more for you guys. But until then, remember you're never too old to be a kid. And just have, have a good one. See you next time.